Hi everyone, we have already seen how to access the private method of a particular class in different class. That is this test and get some we have seen and we have achieved to do the operation on that. Now we will see how we can get the private method identifiers or primitive variables of other class and get their values in different class. They are a private identifiers but we can achieve to get it in different class straight away without getting getters and setters. So let's see and let's create an employee object and in which we will pass data in the constructor and create the object through constructor only. So let's create two object, two variables, one string name and then integer age. So these two I will pass in this constructor and they will be set through constructor only. There will be no getter and no setter. So this you can see this will be there will be an i dependency i dependent class will be there and also getter is not there but we will be able to achieve these values through our reflection so in the main class now i'm going to call these fields of the employee class without getters and setters through reflection only for that i will create this object employee and try to set the name and age of that particular employee through constructor only so let's provide the value as myth as a name and age as 28. I am going to call that particular field. For that we need the field variable of the or you can see field from the package of reflection API. So I will simply call field and I will name it as name field or let it be name from as of now. And I will pass the employee class. So I will write employee.class and I will call the get declared field as you can see these are being coming from all being coming from the reflection so i'll call the declared field and pass that particular field which is there to access that particular field only so i'll pass the name here because i want to get the name so as you can see we have passed let me import the reflection field this is coming from import of java.lang.reflect and now i am going to print this field in this out method so i'll simply write name is and simply provide the employee name dot and when i'll run this the reference of that particular name will come so let me provide this name here as field name and pass it in this is out method and when i will call this that if not the exact field but it's a reference will be printed so when I will run this as you can see this ref reference will be coming and now I will call the invoke method or you can say get method in which I will pass the employee object which we have created earlier and if I will call this simply without calling it will throw an exception as you can see here why because we have not provided the access to that particular field for that we need one more method set access as true so I will write it as set access and now this set access will be true and method will be accessed. So as you can see that particular name has already been printed in our log. Similar way we can also go for the age and simply call this age part and this is a type of integer. So simply I will provide it here as age and change the field name to field age and call this field age through get employee and get the data of that particular age in our main class without any getters and setters. So in this way we can access the private variables which are contained inside that particular class only through reflection. Otherwise it is not possible to access the private method of that particular class. Thank you all for watching the video.